Now let's talk. I want to start from, I want to tell you the story. I want to tell you how I got involved in this documentary. Uh, I want to clear some things. I want to clear some, some, some issues on ground. I want to clear some issues about the BBC documentary, BBC I Africa documentary. I want to make it clear today, a deal with BBC I Africa. The journalist called me. He said, please, they want to have a talk with me. If I can come, where am I? I told them, they asked me if I can come to Lagos. I said, yeah, I can come. That they just felt that they've interviewed so many people. And many of them were calling me. You know, they said, Prophet Agomo, Prophet Agomo, meet him, meet him. Now that's why they come to me. And they gave me dates and everything. I told them, well, I don't have money. I can't come with. They said, no, 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 no. They sent a ticket for me. I got there, met with them. Then they started recording. We started recording. They asked me questions, I answered them. We did all the recordings and all and all when they finished. I got to Lagos with just, I think, what was what I it when I wanted to go, I was left with 5,000. I came in with. I called the two journalists. I said, please, uh, what's there for me? I need transport to move. Do you can you believe me? They told me, they said <laughs> that's Actually, the BBC, that, that, that all they did is just to bring me down, to say what I want to say. I said, no, 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 and you can't believe me. It took me time before God and man for one of the journalists to give me 7,000. It did dawned on me, I said, wow, I left. You cannot believe it. It was Sister Bisola that sent me. I'm Agomo Godwill, a former prophet with T.B. Joshua. I spent over a decade with him. So today, I want to clear some issues about the BBC documentary, BBC I Africa documentary. I want to make it clear today, a deal with BBC I Africa. About I think that was um, 2020, about three years ago. Three, three, three years ago, 2021. I got a call from somebody who asked me that, uh, would I love to talk to, would I love her to give BBC my number? That there are some people on BBC that are making investigations, that they've gone through our first video. And since then, for over, for so many years that they've been investigating what we said on the video, that they've been on it, they've been trying to monitor to check everything, that they want to hear from me as somebody who, I said, well, if that's the case, I think God is also answering my prayer. Well, I jumped to it. I said, okay, please give them my number. In a moment, the journalist called me. He said, please, they want to have a talk with me. If I can come, where am I? I told them. They asked me if I can come to Lagos. I said, yeah, I can come. That they just felt that they've interviewed so many people. And many of them were calling me. Many of them said, Prophet Agomo, Prophet Agomo, meet him, meet him. And that's why they come to me. And they gave me dates and everything. I told them, well, I don't have money. I can't come with, they said, no, 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 no. They sent a ticket for me. I got there, met with them. Then they started recording. We started recording. They asked me questions. I answered them. We did all the recordings and all and all when they finished. I got to Lagos with just, I think, what was, what I, it, when I wanted to go, I was left with 5,000 I came in with. I called the two journalists. I said, please, uh, what's there for me? I need transport to move. You, can you believe me? 
They told me, they said, that actually, the BBC, that, that they, all they did is just to bring me down, to say what I want to say. I said, no. No, no, and you can't believe me. It took me time before God and man for one of the journalists to give me 7,000 from his own pocket, not from BBC. He said, and when he gave me, he said, I'm giving you this out of my own voluntary will. BBC does not pay anybody. I now sat there and said, come tell me why. He said, we can't, we don't pay for information. That's why we asked you, are you, he said, if you want to still withdraw now, you are free to withdraw. But that a pound, a penny, will not fall out from BBC into my hands as in regard to this program, in regard to this documentary I'm doing. I said, wow. He then dawned on me, I said, wow, I left. Look at other churches. We have redeemed. We have winners. We have assemblies. We have other mainstream churches. When people stay there and they don't want to stay again, they go. When they leave, they go and establish their own churches. You see them growing. You see the word of God multiplying. But when, <laughs> when I left, my God, traps everywhere. They were posturing me everywhere. Chasing me around. Everywhere. Down to Kotonu, down to Ghana. Come back. It was terrible for more than nine years. For years, we went underground. We are hiding. For more than nine years, I never got involved in any job, any, I never got in any church activity. I was lying low. I changed over, I changed over 20 sims. Because anyone I put, they will bug it. You say to trust me. Anyone I put, they will bug it. You can imagine. A security man now told me how to understand a line that is bogged. So immediately bug me, I'll hear the sound. I'll remove that scene. You want to understand. There is no way you can understand what I went through. There's no way you can understand what Bissola went through. There's no way you can understand the terrains we passed through. There's no way you can ever believe that. Why would we go through that? So people like, like my, my, my mates, my mates in the, in the ministry, from other churches who left. They are they have, they've had big churches. I'm not envying, I'm not bothered, I'm comfortable with this. Everyone has got a mission. I believe my mission to the Snabok Church is what I'm doing now. And that's it. If you enjoyed the video and want more like it, be sure to leave a thumbs up below in appreciation. And if you haven't already, you really want to subscribe, subscribe to my channel and tick the bell icon so you get notified as I upload a new video every week. See you in the next video.